hi guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another interesting video so this is postpartum jenna over here okay this is not pregnant jenna we don't been pregnant okay what's going on you guys how are we doing if this is your first time you are welcome to the family my name is jenna chiwon and i'm a nigerian youtuber based in put Harcourt. okay so you guys um i got a lot of gifts this period i got a gift last night and just and sit down there I got a gift last night and I realized that I haven't showed you guys the things I got. A friend of mine sent me a bag and um, a YouTuber, a YouTuber and a friend, a close friend, okay? I think majority of you would know who the person is. She actually sent me a cake because I didn't even know where it was coming from. I just got the call, I think that was around 6, 7 p.m. in the evening. And like, oh, they've been trying to reach me and they've not been able to. Someone sent me... A cake and a note. Sit down, Jetson. Sit. You guys, my dog or puppy. My puppy is almost going out of being a puppy to a dog. Is at the door. Sit. And I don't allow him to come inside the house because my baby is here. Sit. So he's just at the entrance of the door, trying to like enter. He has not entered this house like since I gave birth. He has been outside. We no longer let him come inside because he now has his own space outside. And since then, he's like wondering what's been going on, why we sent him outside, why we don't come to check up on him like the way we used to, why he doesn't play inside and all of that. So uh, right now, he's trying to like come inside the house, sit down there, Jetson. If you come inside, I'll kill you. Jetson. And he can act very funny. He acts like a lizard, like he doesn't know what he's doing. He will just be moving his leg gradually, gradually, before you know his full body is inside the house. That's literally what he's trying to do now, like... Is that smart? I don't know. Rottweilers, I heard they're very smart. He's trying to play one on me, but ah, nah, I know you. Outside. A friend of mine gave me a Crocs. She was wearing one, and I'm like, oh, it's so fine, it's so fine. I like it and all of that. And then I even forgot about it. Like, oh, I was like, I literally forgot about it. So she got me one. Though she, um, how do I put it? She, she designed the beads and all of that herself. Let me just quickly show you guys what the Crocs look like. Because it was it was actually designed by her. She got a Crocs and then she bought a lot of all these um fancy. She's a fashion designer, so she actually did the design on it by herself. So yesterday when she said she was coming, I was like, okay. And she said she wants to come and give me my stuff. I didn't really get what she was talking about until she got here. I realized that oh, she's actually talking about the Crocs. And I was like, you know, I forgot at some point that I even admired the Crocs you were wearing the other day. So she got me one. This is what the Crocs is looking like. And I love it. It's black. She did the whole beading and, you know, design. I don't know how she got all of all those things, but she designed it. She designed it herself, and it looks very fine. And then later in the evening, I got a call for the um, cake. So, guys, this is the cake I got yesterday. And let me open it for you guys to see. I just kept it on the table here. And it says, happy birthday, happy anniversary, happy Mother's Day. You deserve the best, Jenny. Thank you so much, Dara. So this is from Dara Gazelle. I've not cut the cake. I just got it last night and I just like, because I already have my own cake over there. The one from my birthday and it hasn't finished yet. And this is the second one. I have about three cakes, but this is the one left. So I have this one now and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to cut it today to see what it looks like. And what it tastes like so thank you so much Dara. i really really appreciate it. thank you baby girl this is a lot i didn't expect it but when i was called i was like oh okay i think i might know who sent it yeah i love this butterfly thing i feel like i'm going to save it somewhere oh wow i already pulled it out oh i didn't even know it's that easy to pull out so guys yes this is my birthday cake thank you so much baby girl i really really appreciate this so guys, aside that, I want to pump breast milk. My baby is sleeping. I already had my bath because when we wake up in the morning, you guys, I think I, you must have seen that morning routine. We bait my baby, then I bait, and then, you know, prepare myself because once she finished baiting, I don't know, there's this thing with kids. Once you bait them, you massage their body and all of that. They feel exhausted and you just feed them and they just sleep off. So my baby is sleeping right now. I want to pump because my breast is feeling very full. So I need to pump and, you know, store inside the refrigerator so that when she wakes up, I can feed her. What I do, many times, I just breastfeed her if I'm holding her. Justin sits. 
many other times I just breastfeed her if I'm holding her, like if I'm the one carrying her. But if my mom is carrying her, my mom gets to breastfeed her. But my mom is not around at the moment. She went to work. So I'm just the one in the house and the girl that works for me. So literally that's it. And then I'm supposed to run a lot of errands today. But so many things are just, you know, making it not to work out. My car is not available for me to go out. And I was expecting my friend to come over, but she didn't come. So we have to reschedule for honor that day. So I literally cannot do everything I'm supposed to do today. Like, I'm not really happy about it, but what can I do? Nothing. I can't do nada. I just have to, like, you know, accept the day the way it is presently. And you guys, I got a new lens. Actually, Hobby got the lens for me. A Sigma 30mm lens. I'm super excited about it. Like... I don't have that much big space where I can just sit down and create a very wide range video. So I have a Sigma 16mm lens already and I got the 30mm because of the space. I don't have so much space so the 30mm will kind of blow the whole background and capture little space for me. But the 60mm is a wide lens, it's a wide angle lens so it tends to, you know, cover a lot like a coverture kind of thing. But I'm super excited for my anniversary gift because it's actually an anniversary gift. So I need to gift Hobby. I have Hobby's gift already, which I'll be gifting him very soon. But then, you guys, yeah, that is basically what we are doing right now. I need to pump. I, in the moment I finish pumping, I need to eat. Then I have an upload today. I'm going to upload a video today. I want to show you guys what my stomach is looking like because this is just a few weeks. My stomach is already down. You guys can see... It's just that my boobs is showing because I'm breastfeeding, but my stomach is down already. Like, as when I gave birth, I wish I had taken a video. My spirit was like, take a video, take a video. I was scared in the sense that I don't know if I should take a video, if I would ever upload it, the before and the after. Like, my stomach was not looking as big as the size of my baby. Because my baby was weighing 3.9, and my stomach size was looking very small. Like, I told you guys, when I went to check my baby's weight at 38 weeks pregnant, my baby was, um, was weighing 3.2. But then when I gave birth to the child, it was 3.9. So it was shocking. Like, how did I move from 3.2 in two weeks to 3.9? So literally, if I stayed another week again, that would be like 4 kg. And I gave birth to my child at 40 weeks and 5 days. I cannot forget because that was a few days to my birthday. 40 weeks and 5 days. So my baby was weighing 3.9. And the doctors were surprised because looking at the stomach and looking at the child, some person said, my womb is deep or big. I don't know how they describe that stuff, but... Yeah, I think at the end of the day, it's just that your womb is, you know, big to contain, like, that much baby inside of it. So, when I gave birth, I was feeling like my stomach was not going to come back, like, that fast. I was feeling like it was going to take me, like, two months, three months. But this is just, like, this is, like, 15 to 16, okay, let's say 17 days because today is a Friday. So, this is, like, 17 days and my stomach is, like, this, as you can see. My stomach is like this, so I'm super, super excited. I'm super, super happy that, oh, my stomach has actually gone down compared to, you know, what I was expecting because I put hot water on my stomach. My mom helps me to press my stomach, but I don't do it, like, every time for the past two, three days now two three days i haven't done that because she has been going to work so i just do it by myself like use my hand to like press it but it is not the same thing compared to when someone else is doing it for you and the other day that I completed those two weeks i went to check the stitches because i had a second degree tear i went to check the stitches and the stitches had already you know the stitches had gone the doctor said it was okay, but there was just one that was loose, but he was like, there's nothing to worry about that will close by itself. That is due to the hot water, I mean, the warm water and salt I've been sitting on because I was asked to sit on warm water and salt. That is why. And then aside from pressing my stomach with the hot water, I tend to tie my stomach with wrapper. I use it to sleep because I want it to go back. I need to snap back like ASAP, okay? So I use um, the wrapper to tie my stomach like very tight and I try to carry it like almost all through the day. But when it comes to night, I make sure I sleep with it all through the night till the next morning. And I was told even if you're eating, eat with it and all of that. Though at times I try to loosen it up to free my stomach a bit, but trust me, it is really working. And I think I'm going to do this for a very long time. I think I want to do it for like a month or two. Because if I press my stomach inside, I still see a lot of vacuum, like a lot of space for it to go back, like for it to snap back. So it's telling me that you still need to press it inside. But if you leave it like that, it might just stay there and accumulate a lot of fat. So I feel like the more I keep on pressing it inside, the more it keeps on going inside. 
right now my mom is not around so i might probably tell my girl to help me tie my stomach once i'm done eating but yeah you guys i think i've been talking for a while let me just start pumping and you know start getting ready for today basically i'll be at home all day because my plans for going out is not working so it will just be me at home doing me my baby is sleeping once she wake up i'll breastfeed her and all of that so let me just bring out the breast pump i think i've shown you guys my breast pump before but let me bring it and show you guys now so guys this is what it looks like i've shown you guys this stuff before i don't think it's something new anymore showing you guys my breast pump so i'm just going to plug it in and you know pump I always pump when i'm eating but right now i'm not So guys, I'm pumping already and I'm even feeling hungry right now, but I would just want to pump and then store inside the fridge and know that I'm done with that. Seems like there's someone at my gate, you guys. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something. Silhouettes of you are like a ton. Never really noticed what you want. With you, so the bottle is an anti-colic bottle. Or should I? I think I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's an anti-colic bottle that doesn't allow air because of gas to go inside of it. So this is the bottle, and this is what makes the gas not to go inside of it. So we just plug it in. I just sterilized it, so it's cold already, but you just plugged it plug it in like this and then you fix it in inside of this here's my tummy tp bottle just going to take out the breast pump from here yeah and let me arrange my mic well so this is what it looks like this is what i just pumped it's almost it's filled up already let me show you guys the back it's filled up. If I'd allowed it, it will pour out. So I'm just going to, you know, pour this inside of this. Let me show you. Just put it in here like that. As you can see, it's going in. And yeah, you guys, this is from one boobs. This is what I pumped out. At times I pump like full of this bottle from one breast. So this is just one breast and this is what I get out of it. So I actually do pump a lot. You can see. So I'm going to pump the second one. At times I still go ahead and still pump this one. But if this one is feeling a little bit lighter, I always allow it and then pump from this one. So I'm still going to pump from this one. I was pumping from this one initially, but I think I didn't pump the breast pump. I didn't plug the breast, the breast pump properly. So I'm just going to, you know, pump from this one. This one now is feeling very light. Then I'll store this inside the refrigerator and allow it. My baby is sleeping, so whenever she wakes up, I can easily just feed her, you know. So those are my bottles over there. I already sterilized them. It's very easy. Anytime I pump, I have a breastfeeding storage bag, but I've not used it because I'm not pumping so, so much. I'm still pumping something that can, you know, stay inside the bottle. Like, you can still keep it inside the bottle and all. So until I start pumping, like, a whole lot, I can start batching them, putting numbers on them and all of that. But for now that I'm still pumping, something that can still go inside the bottle, um, I just bottle them up and just put it inside the fridge. I don't bother myself about putting them inside the storage bag because putting it inside the storage bag means I have to sterilize the bag again and then use it again and all of that. So for now, I'm dealing with bottles. I don't want to over, you know, work myself up and start putting inside bags when I'm not ready for that. So I'm just going to pump here. Here is feeling cooler. So I'm going to pump here. I think here is feeling, uh, here is feeling very light, like empty kind of. So... You guys, I'm going to pump that while I'm making my pancake because I want to have pancake and pancake, shredded eggs and hot dog and what else? Oats, but I might end up having tea. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something. I 
I don't really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Thinking something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did? 